Hello, so today we will be doing 5.9 individual activities. Officer on duty. You're the officer on duty to evaluate arguments. So for the problems on the next two pages, determine if the arguments are deductive or inductive and then evaluate them in the appropriate column. Use the information below to help you as you evaluate the arguments. No key information has been ignored that will require a different conclusion. And then um, it, it lists some of the some of the things that we would be taking as fact when judging the arguments. So the first the first argument is the weatherman said on the television that it is going to rain today, so it will rain today. Now we can see here that um, one of the pieces of information is the weatherman said it would be sunny and warm all day today. So I believe this is an inductive argument. That is weak. The premises are not true based on the information that we saw on the previous page. There is key evidence that has been ignored that requires a different conclusion. So it is not cogent. All right, the next one says, all Olympic gold medalists are amazing athletes. Missy Franklin and Allison Schmidt from the United States each won five gold medals in the 2012 Summer Olympics. It follows that Missy Franklin and Allison Schmidt are amazing athletes. I would say that this is a, a deductive argument. And then we see on the following page that it does say that Missy Franklin and Allison Smith each won five gold medals in the 2012 Summer Olympics. So I would say that um, the argument is valid and that the premises are true. So therefore it's a sound argument. All right, the next one is Mark is an introvert. So Mark is a person who likes to be the life of every party. And here we have a clue that Mark is an introvert.
So here we see that for deductive arguments, is it possible for the conclusion to be false? And inductive, is the conclusion probably true? I believe that this is a deductive argument. Sometimes it's difficult for me to determine that is invalid. The premises are true, but they don't support the conclusion. unsound or if it was inductive it's weak the premise is they are true no we have the evidence that he is an introvert but it's not cogent so I believe that it's deductive but this would be my answer if it is inductive so either Wookiees are large, hairy, primate-like creatures or Wookiees are frog dogs. Wookiees are not frog dogs. Therefore, Wookiees are large, hairy, primate-like creatures. So on the previous page, Klingons are a humanoid race and Wookiees are large, hairy, primate-like creatures who are not humanoid. Frog dogs are a separate species from Klingons and Wookiees. So from this from, from this information that we're given, we know that Wookiees are large, hairy, primate-like creatures who are not humanoid. And we know that Frog dogs are a separate species from Klingons and Wookiees. So both premises I'm going to say this is deductive. It's valid. The premises are true. So it's a sound argument because Wookiees are either Wookiees are large, hairy, primate like creatures or Wookiees are frog dogs and from the previous information we were given we already know that they are large hairy primate like creatures wookies are not frog dogs the previous page did tell us that they're not frog dogs therefore wookies are large hairy primate like creatures which we already know from the information given on the previous page so that's my final answer <laughs> these are kind of difficult Margaret Thatcher 
was the prime minister of Great Britain, so she must be a citizen of Ireland. And our information that we're given is Margaret Thatcher was a very famous prime minister of Great Britain. So we, are, we know that that's a fact. So I'm going to say if, if this is inductive, is weak. True premises, yes, because Margaret Thatcher was the prime minister of Great Britain. No key evidence was ignored, So, but it's not cogent. However... If it's deductive, it's invalid. Although the premises are true, it's unsound. But I think I believe that it's inductive. I'm having some difficulty recognizing the difference between deductive and inductive. Okay, so next question. Since Martha Gellhorn, Marie Colvine, Christine Amanpour, Janine D. Giovanni, Kate Aidy, Maggie O'Kane, Nima Elberger, Carol Murphy, and Charlotte Eager are all famous and accomplished war correspondents. And since they are all women, it follows that women can make excellent war correspondents. And we can see on the previous page that yes, they are very famous, accomplished war correspondents. So I'm going to say inductive.
but weak. Because although we know that they're all famous and accomplished war correspondents, we don't know that they are all women. So for true premises, I'm going to say no. Was key evidence ignored that requires a different conclusion? Yes, because how do we know they're all women? And I'm going to say not cogent. Ooh, these are tricky. So, Sir Paul McCartney claims to claims the tune to yesterday was just there one morning in his head when he woke up after dreaming of it being played by a string ensemble. So the song probably did come to him in a dream. So here we have Sir Paul McCartney said in an interview about his famous Beatles song yesterday, it was entirely magical. I have no idea how I wrote that. I just woke up one morning and it was in my head. I didn't believe it for about two weeks. It was the most complete thing I'd ever written. For something that just happened in a dream, even I have to acknowledge that it was a phenomenal stroke of luck. McCartney says that in his dream, he was listening to the tune of the song being played by a classical string ensemble. Sometime later, he wrote the words to the song and had it recorded with a string arrangement just as he heard it in his dream. So according to add that information, I'm going to say that this is deductive and valid and that the premises are true. So it's sound. Okay, the last question is, the last four cherry pies I bought from Marie Callender's restaurant were fabulous. So the next cherry pie I buy will be fabulous too. So this is inductive. And then we have, I love the last four pies I bought from Marie Callender. They were fabulous. It's strong. The premises are true. No key evidence has been ignored. So it's cogent because there is a high possibility that the next cherry pie that they buy will be fabulous too. So there we have it, the practical critical thinking 5.9 individual activities these were a bit difficult so i probably still need some practice but there we have it thanks bye